What is going on my fellow ish trainers? Welcome back to another video man where today we'll be using a very interesting offensive toad scroll team featuring Skeledurge and Chateau Orphworm. It's also got a choice specs rhythm wash and a choice band low kick. So unlike any team I've really ever seen before in the ladder as ooh, Don Dozo's finally got his his, his uh, game animation, which is cool. Um, he's very much weak to low kicks. His only resist is the Dawn fan. The Great Tusk, I mean, obviously. Could lead with Rotom and just click Trick immediately. Hmm, let's think about this. Dirge looks pretty good this game, though. I don't see how he's going to really break it. Let's see. I think I just lead with... Let's lead Toad Scroll, actually. My my ability, my Killium Light, means I can put the Espeon to sleep, for example, which is pretty cool. Does lead with the Great Tusk immediately. I'm assuming this is Great Tusk and not the... Not the Zoroark. So I'm going to just click Energy Ball straight away. If he goes into Gudra, so be it. I could just put you to sleep, or, yeah, I'm going to put you to sleep. If he does Flamethrower, that does a good amount of damage, but, yeah, that goes through that, so, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. I'm going to now just go into Low Kicks here. I don't think he can do anything about this. If he goes hard, Great Tusk, so be it. That's a really good play on his end, but now I could just click Choice Banded U-Turn, and I'm going to do a lot of damage to the Great Tusk coming in here. He goes into Don Dozo, though, which is fine. I can now just go into probably Rotom. And I'm going to trick somebody to Specs. I think I'm... Do I feel like... Do I trick this guy? Or do I trick the the Gudra coming in? That doesn't really sound too bad. Let's just trick the Gudra. Or let's trick... Yeah, you know what? I tricked the Great Tusk also. That's not bad at all. I will take that. As... I don't know what he's going to do here. I think he might get his rocks up. Or he might click CC. I'm going to just click Pump. Hopefully he doesn't get his rocks up though. As I just get the Gudra for some damn, I know I miss actually. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> I was gonna click Volt Switch here. As I'm, I'm faster. Oh, I did not expect that. Oh, I did not expect to be faster. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, that's a little annoying. But I think I just go Garg. Let's just go Garganical, the Broken. And I gotta just click Stealth Rock on the Great Tut. Oh wait, 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 no, 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 no. Let's add the. I, I click Salt here. He can go Espeon. He does go Don Dozo though, which is, uh, that's gonna work out pretty good for me. But he is indeed the covert cloak okay i would love to click stealth rock now i'm gonna do it screw it if he goes espion wonderful play on his end honestly but he should have done it earlier if he was gonna do it let's see i'm i'm really hoping he doesn't go espion now i i wouldn't look like such a fool but he doesn't do it which is good okay good for me uh i'm gonna click protect here see what he wants to do i just are you, this might be specs to be doing the damage he did to my toad screw we'll see though but he does knock off Okay, well, I don't really want to catch a knockoff to the mouth, so let's just go back into Rotom, or we can also go Toad Scroll. I do want my leftover, so this should not be knocked. Let's go Rotom, I think. Yeah, let's just go Rotom. He goes on the Great Tusk. I could just click Pump. Or do I go Dirge? Dirge would be a cool play as well. Mm, let's just click Pump. Or, oh, damn. I think he's going to click CC or knockoff, one of the two. So let's just go Dirge. I think Dirge is a fine play on my end. Let's do it. Clicks Terra Steel and clicks Rapid Spin. Very unfortunate for my opponent. I'm going to now just click Will O Wisp on the incoming Gudra. Yeah. He Terra Steeled and lost his freaking move. I, I burned this thing, which is awesome. That's what I wanted, really. I could try to go for the win here now, but he does have Don Dozo, who does kind of put me in my tracks. I'm interested to see what, these, what this clicks, though. I think he is going to just click the. I think I should. I think I will actually terror this guy. Let's do it. I'm gonna torch song. As he does sludge bomb, he's going for the poison. Doesn't get it though. I'll take it. And I'll, I'll fire off a hex here now. It does a lot of damage to everything. It's gonna go do 21, do 48 to him. I'm gonna slack off here now. He's gonna just go for that poison, which is a good play on his end. But getting rid of this Gudra is also really good for me. As he clicks Dragon Pulse there. Okay, well, wait, how much did my Torch Song do? It did 10, so it's not going to kill. He's going to go for a Poison here one more time, I think. If I can avoid the Poison here, that's wonderful. But he doesn't even go for the Poison. So even better for me, honestly. As, again, now that I'm Water, I can actually properly switch in to a lot of his hits. Does this kill me? Does this actually kill me? I don't know if it does, to be quite honest with you, dude. I don't know if I want to find out either, to be honest. I think I just go into my Orphworm. I think Orphworm's my best play. And I just Shed Tail. Yeah, let's just Shed Tail here. Grassla did a shit ton, though. I'm not going to lie. 
Yeah, I think that might have killed my Skeledurge. I think it would have. Wait, do I, am I in range of Citrus? Oh, I am. I am, just barely. Let's go. Okay. Um, that's pretty big. I can go into... Who is the question? I think I can go Dirge. I can also go Low Kicks. Let's just go into Low Kicks, actually. Is Low Kicks to play? Yeah, let's go Low Kicks. Yeah, Low Kicks is here. Low Kicks is fine here, because I could just U-turn. I think he's going to go Don Dozo, in which any case, I could just go into my, my Skeleton Dirge and just click Torch Song, or Hex, for that matter. He does go into Don Dozo. But now he's actually a lot lower than I expected him to be. So that's also really good. I think I just go into Skeledurge and just slack off. Yeah, this is 100% my play. If he clicks Rest, I think Hex does too much damage to him. And I'm also unaware of his boost, so this isn't that big a deal. As he does Yawn, okay, fine by me. I could just go right back into Low Kicks. <clears throat> I don't really care what he does here. But yeah, as you can see, once I got the trick on the Great Tusk, <clears throat> I was always going to keep those rocks up, which is what I was like hoping would happen. I'm going to go straight into Skeledurge here. If he clicks anything but Rapid Spin... Oh, wait. I don't... I'm not immune anymore, actually. Okay, well, then in that case, I just U-turn. But I'm faster. Okay, well, that didn't work out exactly amazing for me. Let's just go into the Garganico. I think he's going to click Spin. Let's see. Yeah, he does click Rapid Spin. But I could just Stealth Rock again. Wait, no, 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 no. Let's, let's freaking Sulk here. Let's just Sulk here. He could go Espeon. And I don't really want that to get rocks up on my side. So yeah, I get that off. That's wonderful. I could just here. I can go to my Assault Vested Rotom Wash, actually. And not take anything from this Espeon, which is pretty hilarious. Let's go Don Dozo. I could just click Volt Switch here, though. His Great Tusk is no longer immune once he Terraed. So I just, I get a lot of momentum here. Yeah, this is looking pretty over for my opponent, though. My Skeletor is really healthy, which is bad for his Lycanroc. And then Zoroark, too. Never really came in, so he never even got to play mind games with me as to what that Zoroark was. But this funky team looks like it's going to get a very convincing W to start off this video. I think I just go low kicks here. I got a choice ban in first impression for anybody coming in here who's not at full HP. If anybody does come in here at full HP, they're dying in first impression. So it's like... Not that big a deal. But he is Focus Sash on the Lycanroc or Zoroark. Okay. And he just countered me. Wow. That's actually pretty pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I probably should have U-turned. But I should have U-turned and gone into my ore form. Especially since I knew. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> Whatever. I just I just saw here now. Knocks me off. That's fine. At this point, I don't really need the... I don't need the leftovers anymore. That Lycanroc, though, might... Be an issue, but I do always have Skeletal Dirge, physically defensive Dirge, to tank any hit necessary from the Lycan Rock. Oh, dude, I thought Low Kicks was gonna get a free hit. I should have just U turned though. I I guess just he had a he had a cool set. He kind of got me there. That's really the only way to put it. As here, I think I just do what I could. Oh, Toad School is actually slower than Great Tusk by a little bit. Let's just go. Do I sack or form here? Let's sack War Form. Yeah. As he does CC here, I can now just go into Dirge. Just go straight Dirge and click Torch Song. It's going to be a free hit on anybody and anything. If he goes Espeon, fine by me. It's not going to die, but it'll come pretty close. Click CC. Doesn't do a lot. Actually, that does a shit ton. What am I saying? That's 44. I'm phys oh, I'm not defensive. I'm like, I'm calm. Okay. Um, He does have five CCs, so theoretically... I should be able to, oh, we actually, we have the same amount of recoveries as he does. Okay. Okay, well, this is a little dicey then. I think I sack Toad Scroll here. Do I sack Toad Scroll here? And then go into Rotom and Volt Switch? Yeah, let's do that. That's actually my best play. Yeah, and then we can go Rotom, and I can just Volt Switch. He might be slower than me, honestly. Hopefully he is. That would be pretty beneficial. Yeah, he is, he is slower. I just get the free switch into Dirge. Yeah, let's just go Dirge. And then I get the will o -Wisp buff on the... No, he goes Espeon, so I could just Hex this for free. Or I can actually go Rotom. The Rotom's actually my better play, without a doubt. Because I'm AV. So I, I take nothing from that. Yeah, and I can just click Pump. Do I... Or T-Bolt. T-Bolt? Or... Uh, let's just T-Bolt. Let's just T-Bolt. Screw it. T-Bolt's fine. 
the game got closer than I expected it to because of the, the really cool sash counter Zoroark. But he does go Lycanroc, which is cool. That's going to take a shit ton. I could just Volt Switch here, I think. Yeah, let's just Volt Switch. Does Endeavor. So, yeah, this game is basically over. I don't think he could do anything anymore. Grass Knot will do a lot to my my Garganic, although, I think. Let's see. It shouldn't kill me one hit, but it'll do a lot of damage. Yeah, it does do a shit ton. You just Salt Cure, Protect, and that would have been GG well played. So, good game to my opponent. We're going to get another game here. My last game, my opponent had a crazy team, but luckily, the team was able to come up on top as... My opponent does have the mouse hole, also has the Skeledurge of his own. Interesting team. Looks like a team that's very much weak to Garganical, so I'm going to lead it straight away. I'm just going to Salt Cure. He clicks SD. I do have the Unaware Dirge in the back, but he doesn't exactly come in for free, obviously. So I got to protect. Let's see what he clicks. He's going to click Crunch, probably. And that's going to absolutely murder somebody. Unless I click Fairy Type. I could click fairy type, Garganical, but I don't want to actually lose that yet. Everything is going to die here though, unfortunately. Ooh, ooh, okay. Orform, he actually looks pretty good, but not amazing either. Who's a better sack? Rotom Wash um, isn't amazing. Toad Scroll, he isn't that good either, but he's not bad. Dirge? Dirge is actually probably the worst one. Is Dirge the worst one, actually? Feels like a sin, but I feel like he is the worst one. Let's just sack Dirge. Yeah. See. Oh! Wow! What? Oh my gosh, I get to keep this because of that. Oh, that works out terribly for my opponent. Okay. Well, I think I just Terra Fairy him and just keep this guy alive. Let's let's Torch Song here. I'm unaware to every, all of his boosts, so get out of here, my friend. As my opponent does have that Clodzire, which is unaware to me. He does go into Mouse Hold, though, straight away. I'm just going to burn this guy. I'm going to burn this guy. I'm physically defensive, and he has to be like... Let's see, Population Bomb, how much do you do? 10, 10, 9, 9, 9, 10, 9, 10. Okay, he does kill me. He does kill me, guaranteed. Uh, this mod is completely, completely fine to do that to me. Wow. Yeah, Population Bomb. It's just, any 10 hit move with Stab is just its so strong. And he could just tear up later to do that. Yeah, once I lost my only Ghost type, he was free to always click that. But I couldn't really go Garganical either, you know? It's one of those situations. Hmm. I think I just go Orform. Let's go Orform here. As he clicks Hyper Voice, doesn't do a tremendous amount. I could just Heavy Slam, or I could Spike. I'm faster than him? Well, I'm heavy slamming now, dude. If you're letting me hit this for good damage. Let's see. Yeah, I do a lot there. Jesus. As I'm going to just body... Do I... No, I just click heavy slam. See you, Sylveon. As... I, I still hard wall or form, by the way. So I can always come in on that guy. I just get spike up. And I can always spin on the Toad Scroll. Earth Power plus Energy Ball. Looks really good against my opponent. It does go straight into the Dirge. Here, I think I just go into... Probably my Rotom and click Pomp. Could also go Toad Scroll, but let's just go Rotom. Click Hydro Pump. Yeah, I'm just going to click Pump here. Pump it up, baby. As If he goes into his Water Absorb, Clouds are so be it. But if he goes Rotom, it's going to be taking a lot of damage here. Let's see. I would also like to trick my specs, but if he stays in a dirt to click Torch Song, that would unironically not be good. <laughs> so, yeah, let's not do that. I'm just going to just click. I'm just going to click Pump. Goes his Rotom. This will take good damage, I think, if I land. Yeah, it takes 37. That's nice. That's really good damage. I'm just going to go straight into Toad Scroll now. He can't really do too much to me. Oh, he crits me. Are you serious? Oh, my God, dude. That's unbelievably lucky. Oh, darn it. That's so bad, dude. Come on. You couldn't be any luckier if you tried. You could not be any luckier if you tried. I would have lived, dude. That would have been nice. I would have had a nice offensive check to the freaking Dirge. Oh, come on, man. He's going to tidy up, get rid of all the hazards, and get the attack boost, which is awesome. You love to see that. It's my favorite thing to see. I'm going to just protect here, and then I just probably spam recover. Oh, he's low kick on this. Ooh, that is not good. That is not good. Okay. That's going to do a lot of damage. Orform. Is Orform worth sacking? Probably. Let's just go Orform. 
on the low kick. I have to. And then I could just go to Garganical on the on this and click protect. Yeah, this is fine. Clicks protect as he goes for low kick. He's gonna go into dirge now. I'm gonna just go hard road and wash, I think. Yeah, let's just go hard road and wash. And then I click this terra fairy. Okay. Well I think I just I think I just T bolt here. I think he's good this will do too much damage to you. Yeah, it does too much damage. He's gonna go Claude now, which is fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna T bolt on the on this guy. I just go into low kicks now. And I click probably leech life, to be honest. Leech life probably does a ton to this thing. Oh, this is curse. Okay. That's not good. Uh let's just U-turn. And I'm going to go into ooh, let's go Rotom. Let's just go Rotom Wash here. Clicks Waterfall. I have to hope he isn't water absorbed. If he's water absorbed, this is over. Like a million percent over. He he's not though. If I land a pump on his dirge, I win the game. And I do. Let's go. Okay, GG to my opponent. As we could probably get one more game here, I'm assuming. Um, if you guys have been enjoying the video, please leave a like. And again, we did just recently hit 200 subscribers, which is a big deal. And it means the world that people are actually, you know, not watching my, not just watching my videos, but leaving the subscription really does feel really nice. As my opponent does have, he has a cool looking team. He's got his own Orphan plus Toad Screw. I thought I was the only one with this combo, but I was wrong. He is pretty weak to low kicks, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually just going to lead it straight away. It's good against most leads, except this guy. This is like the one thing that could have actually been an issue. Um, I think I just click U-turn now. And they'll do a lot of damage, obviously. I think I just go into Garg. And he is going to get a free switch into probably the Roaring Moon. But I could, tell a, I could tear a Fairy Dirge and be immune to the Roaring Moon, basically, entirely. So it's like, not that big a deal. But he does go Chien Pao instead. Okay. Do I Terra Fairy him to be immune to Chi and Pao? I think I have to just Salt Cure. Yeah, let's just Salt Cure straight away. Clicks Crash. Does a crit. It doesn't flinch me though, which is good. Let's just recover up here. If he clicks SD, he does Terra Dark. This shouldn't kill me because he's not banded. But he does get the drop, which is awful. That he does that. Oh, damn it, dude. Are you serious? I can't catch a break. I swear to God, dude. I'm always getting freaking defense dropped and flinched. I'm surprised I didn't get flinched at this bidef dropped. I mean, defense dropped. Well, crush at 36. I have to go or form, I think. Let's just go or form here. Yeah. Clicks crash. I will now just click Chateau on my own. Clicks crunch. That's not going to put me in range of outside of the citrus berry. So let's just go now. Do I go dirge? Dirge straight into a fairy type looks pretty good against my opponent. So that's probably what I will do. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. It looks fine to me. Let's just do that. Click Fairy. Click Torch Song. I also burned this straight away, but I'm going to just Torch Song. As I do a lot. Yeah, this is not going to do a lot of damage to me. Everything coming in here is going to take a lot in respect. Let's see. Don't flinch me. Don't flinch me. No! Dude! Come on! Don't flinch me twice. Thank you. But, dude, I lost my freaking Terror type because of the flinch. Come, dude. You can't make this up. You really cannot make this up, dude. Whoa. Okay, Orform is probably faster. It only needs very little speed to... If, unless he's zero speed Orform, I can recover up, but I don't think he is, dude. Oh, man. You can't make this up, dude. As he clicks Shadow Ball, doesn't get a Spadef drop. Wow, I'm surprised, honestly. As I think I just Energy Ball for a Spore. Um, let's think. I could go, let's just go low kicks actually. He's gonna go toad scroll. Yeah, and I just get a free U turn. So he's forced to go into his or from here. And this is my one chance to slack off. Let's see. Maybe I'm faster. Maybe I'm faster. We'll see. If I am faster, it's clutch. If I'm not faster, it is what it is. But like, oh, dude, I actually got the recovery off. That is incredible. Okay. Well, I. He might actually be forced to click the. To make it rain he does trick though he gives me a scarf he gives me a specs i'm just gonna trick somebody else to scarf as he does shadow ball oh i can't trick okay well i gotta go garg then okay whatever so be it uh, as i have to just click recover on the toad scroll coming in here let's just click recover oh he goes or form instead 
I wonder if it's to just get the rocks up. Iron defenses. I'm going to just sulk. Wait, no, he's body pressing here. He's going to body press me 100%. Um, I could just go into Dirge because I'm mean. And I could just feel free to click Torch Song. I wonder if I'm faster. I'm going to find out right here right now. Yeah, let's just Torch Song. Torch Song in here is completely fine. I'm hoping he's not faster. Yeah, he's not. Okay, get that kill. So, Dirge from, coming from the dead, basically, because of that flinch. I guess in retrospect, I should have burned the Chien Pao when I was behind the sub, but I also didn't think he would stay in, to be fair. Here comes the Specs Golden Go to hit somebody for a tremendous amount of damage. Orform, Walls, Ting Lu, which gives it value, and clicking Body Press looks pretty good against my opponent, so I will keep it. Toad Screw might be my sack. I'm faster with my own, though. But it really looks weak. I'm going to just sack my toe screw to spec shadow ball. Okay. Oh, he, he lives. He lives. He lives. Okay, that's good. I can afford to just click energy ball now. Or just earth power. Bless energy ball. I don't think he's going to stay in here. Why would you stay in, you idiot? Why would you stay in and risk it for no reason? I don't understand why you would make that play. I really, really don't. Like, you, if you lose this, you lose a lot of your offensive prowess against me. I don't get it, but so be it. Let's just go to my ore form now. Or whirlwinds, it's fine by me. I'm gonna go right back into ore form. As he does get his rocks up, fine by me. I could just click body press or spike. Let's let's spike. Let's spike. As he does body press me of his own. Okay. Here I can just go to my low kicks. Click leech life, honestly. Leech life looks pretty fun. Um yeah, let's just leech life. I'm gonna kill this. I, I don't actually kill it. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, get that leech life and kill him. I saved this for the Roaring Moon. He did tear off his Chien Pao, so maybe first impression will win me the game ultimately. I don't think I kill him though with my move yet. I have to just sack my... I have to sack Rotom. He's going to click Shadow Ball, which is good. It's giving me an opportunity to not lose just yet. I could... Yeah, let's just Salt Cure straight away. I don't know why he would have chose to sack this Golden Go earlier. It's just such a stupid play, in my opinion. Like, game losing play. As, okay, he does do that. And there isn't much I can do to prevent the spin. I have to just recover. He does spin. I can protect or Stealth Rock again. Let's just Stealth Rock. Oh, damn it, dude. Oh, I think I choked this so badly. Let's just protect again here. Um, stuff rock or salt cure? It's stuff rock. Mm. Toxics, but misses, which is cool. I'll take that. Protect here on his rapid spin. Just stealth rock again. I think I just have to. Do I salt cure? Salt cure doesn't seem too bad. Let's just salt cure here, I think. I think I have to just salt cure, make this a 3v2. Uh, he does choose to try to toxic me. Or, or actually, he tried to spore me. Oh, that works out for him. Yeah, that's a pretty good play on his end. Okay, well, maybe I can win with first impression. It just that's really what it comes down to. So I can dirge might be the play, but he also I think walls the roaring moon. So I should not do that. Keeping the roaring, keeping this alive for roaring moon looks pretty good. As he does go straight into this roaring moon. Let's just let's just sulk here. I think. Jaw lock. Okay, well we can't switch now, but I get that off, which is cool. Let's just do I stealth rock? Nah, it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Let's just recover up. Oh, he has taunt. Okay, that's cool. It's a cool set. Salt cure into salt cure. In that case, is my only play. I will live pretty easily, and all he can do is lock himself into a move. Me low kicks will get the victory. So, okay, shout outs to this team. It's gonna get the victory. Let's go. Okay. So I don't think my Dirge would have beat that set because he was that taunt set. I just protect here. See what he's going to click. As long as I find out he's locked in. Because I think his only play here is to trick. I think he has to trick somebody. Yeah, let's just protect. I think he has to trick and then get a choice item. And then he, he will just lose because then once he locks himself into a trick move, when I get my choice band off, I think he will lose off the spot. But... 
Nah, he just chooses to do that, so. This is going to be GG. Well played to my opponent. I'm gonna give him a GG. Just click Sucker Punch. And yeah, Low Kicks finishes off the game for my opponent and for me. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. See ya.